I'm Del Gross, and this is Mac Talk. Hi, I'm Bill. And I'm Eric. We're here on the new set of Mac Talk, and if you haven't seen Mac Talk yet, you're missing a lot. If you have a Macintosh computer, or don't know much about them, why not watch Mac Talk? We cover everything from starting your Mac to using the internet. Our show airs Monday through Saturday at 5.30 p.m. on Channel 3. And you can also visit our BD Productions official website at www.geocities.com slash Wall Street slash 1442. If you have a problem with your Mac or have questions or comments about our show, our email address is mactalk at geocities.com. Make sure to include your questions, your Mac model name, your first name, a detailed description of your problem, and whether or not you want us to read your email on the show. Um, let's see. First item on the agenda minutes of the previous meeting. Any corrections or additions? Move that they be approved. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. If unanimous. Correspondence. Um, Letter from Tom Jewell regarding the Lawton Public Access Waiver. <clears throat> Excuse me. Memorandum to Town Council regarding Fort Williams Field. Environment and Development Newsletter, July, August 96. At home article from the Boston Globe. Uh, Town Council referral of proposed zoning amendments and economic action forum brochure. And the last. <clears throat> um, piece of correspondence we had in our packet was a letter from Steve Etzel uh, resigning his position on the planning board and I just want to take just a quick minute to say um, I think we're all going to miss him he had a remarkable way of having insight into different projects and it's if I remember correctly he was the longest standing member on the planning board um, at the present time so I guess a, a thank you from from all of us and I assume we'll be filling that chair at some point in the near future. Um, <clears throat> first item under new business uh, is the Linnell Wetland Alteration Permit request by William Linnell and Joyce Gauthier for a wetland alteration permit to construct a driveway to a lot located off, o off Ocean House Road, R2-21 section 19-3-9, completeness and public hearing. Maureen, would you like to give us some background, please? Uh, we approved a public access waiver and a wetlands alteration permit for this site in 1994. Uh, the public access waiver does not have a time limit on it, but the wetland alteration permit has a time limit of one year. Uh, the planning board granted an extension in June of then the permit ran out in June of this year. The applicant is not proposing any changes on the previous permit and has submitted identical plans uh, from the last approval and would like to get reapproval. Um, the procedure for the board typically is to determine whether the application is complete and then you are required to hold a public hearing, which is usually scheduled for the following meeting. Uh, because this is a reapproval, the notices that were mailed out to the to the residents and the abutters said that the board may hold a public hearing at tonight's meeting. So you do have that option. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, anyone have any comments or questions for the applicant? Would the applicant like to have? Would you like to say anything?
Good evening. My name is Steve Harding. I work for OST Associates. Uh, we've been assisting Bill Linnell and Joyce Gautier through this process. Uh, as Maureen stated, we, this is a, a plan that was previously permitted back in 1994. I'll just walk you through some of the components of it. This, this sheet here is the, the first sheet in your packet. Uh, Ocean House Road is, is over here. You have the Lions Field ball field uh, at this location. The road that's now it's now paved, it's shown on here as being gravel, but it's paved up to the storage shed. There's a tote road that, that leads to the Linnell property here. This would be the area where the, the new home would be built. Uh, what we're proposing to do is to just reconstruct the tote road through, through to extend the existing roadway to the property. There's a wetland area here, and, and uh, this, this haul route is in, in the buffer area, and that's the reason I understand we need the wetland alteration. Thank you. Any questions from the board, Mr. Emery? Uh, yeah, it's been, I guess, a couple of years since we've uh, seen the application. I don't have any uh, substantive uh, questions uh, except that uh, notice in, uh, on the uh, sheet two of three that the, and this is not a change from the previous uh, submittal, so the question would have been uh, valid had it been asked before. But out of curiosity and perhaps out of convenience to the applicant, I notice that the turnaround is, is almost wholly within the house lot. And I'm wondering if there was any discussion uh, in negotiations with the town council uh, of whether that indeed is the, the appropriate location, because that is that turnaround primarily a private turnaround for your convenience, or is it more likely a turnaround to serve the public need of emergency vehicles and so forth? Bill may have to correct me. It's been a while since we talked about those, those issues. Uh, I believe that uh, turnaround is intended primarily for the fire uh, truck access, and that was something that was worked out with the, the fire chief at that time. Uh, it's, it's designed to standards so that the fire truck could turn around in that area. Is there, is there a uh, easement described for that turnaround for public access? So I don't, I don't see it on the uh, plan uh, two or three. Tom, uh, I mean that's that turnaround was required. We couldn't, uh, they didn't want to have to uh, back the fire truck uh, back onto the uh, way down the road to be able to turn around if a fire truck came to the property. My understanding is that it's, I mean the the turnaround is absolutely on private property. I'd be delighted if it were not. I mean, I'd just soon have that turnaround uh, back down the road, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. That's the idea, Maureen, to get it as close to the house as possible. I'm just wondering for anyone, and, and particularly if there are other ball fields going to be constructed nearby, inevitably I would imagine that people will come up to the dead end road to, the, to your property line, and, and they won't be at a turnaround at that point. They're going to have to actually uh, proceed onto your property in order to turn around and head back down the road. Um, if uh, uh, I, I think it would be, uh, I, I think I or whoever might own this property in the future would be delighted for a turnaround to be built before the property, and I, I, I it would be, have, I would be ecstatic. Uh, uh, if there was a ball field, I would hope that the extra traffic would turn around on on town property and not proceed through my property. No, but, uh, Hopefully, if, uh, if it's developed, there'll be some signage down by the ball fields that it's a dead-end road and, mm -hmm. and uh, private property beyond that. I'm just, I know you're in the middle of an application here and it's already been reviewed and approved. I'm just wondering if it's too late in the process and it seems to be of interest to you to have a turnaround in much the way a subdivision does. The turnaround doesn't occur within a, an individual lot, but it occurs someplace uh, within a public right-of-way. Um, so that uh, the general public and individuals not intending to, to uh, I, I'll use the word trespass, but that's not really the, to venture onto private property wouldn't, wouldn't otherwise have to. The counter argument to that, as you said earlier, would be that if a fire truck comes all the way up uh, to an area, say at uh, station 30 plus 00, zero at the end of the uh, turnaround at your house, it then would have to presumably back all the way down your driveway, which is what is that, uh, 150 feet long or so? Yeah, so I can understand why they'd want it as close to the property line as possible. Mm -hmm. 
I, I in, from a from a uh, in in either way, I, I don't have any problem with the application. I'm I'm fully prepared to approve it. I'm just uh, the only other question I have is there a requirement then to to indicate on the plan a, a right of way uh, boundary and description or an easement uh, within your lot for that turnaround? Yes, ma'am. The idea is that it would remain private, but any public access waiver is supposed to be recorded, so that when the lot is transferred, the, app, the whoever owns the lot knows that they have to build the turnaround and leave it that way. But it's supposed to be only for the use of the people who own the lot and uh, emergency view. emergency vehicles. Okay. Okay. I guess I would just ask. I would I perhaps obviously like to have it approved as it is, and and if if uh, uh, there seem to be. Uh, 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 a uh, desire to put a turnaround just outside the property. Again, I would, uh, uh, it wouldn't bother me a bit. No, okay, that's fine. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other questions? Mr. Emery? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that we uh, deem the application complete. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. <clears throat> it's unanimous. Okay, we've gotten to that point. Um, going beyond that, do we have any other questions for the applicant? No, I'd suggest that we open the public hearing. Okay. Public hearing is now open. Any members of the uh, public who wish, wish to speak or ask questions, please do so. <coughs> Seeing none. Public hearing is closed. Uh, do we hear, hear a motion for? Mr. Chairman, I have a motion uh, for the board to consider findings of fact. William Linnell and Joyce Gautier are requesting renewal of a wetland alteration permit to reconstruct a road at lot R2-21 located off, old, off Ocean House Road west of Lyons Field. <laughs> Two, the planning board originally got a permit in June 1994, and no changes have been proposed to the plans. Three, the plans substantially comply with section 19-3 line wetland, alter, uh, wet, wetland regulations. Therefore, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted <coughs> and the facts presented, the application of William Linnell and Joyce Gauthier for a wetland alteration permit to reconstruct a road on lot R2-21 located off Ocean House Road west of Lyons Field be granted. Do I hear a second? A second. I also have a question. Mr. Emery. Um, did we discuss this before? Where did the name Ram Island Farm Road come from? Is that, is that something deep in the uh, history, or is that your current address? Previous address. Oh, OK. I was, I was confused, because I thought it was referring to the name of the new road, and I thought we already had one of those. OK. Second. OK. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that concludes the um, public meeting. And we have now have a workshop which will be held in the conference room, which is sort of down the corridor here. No. An early night hour. So, there's some sheets, so I thought they were trying to rename the road.